our electorates are not educated. No. Do we agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. you agree yes, with yes. Okay, so we don't have an educated electorate. Mm. That's why the buy and sell business is working. Mm. You know, it's so it's so barbaric that people now do a buy and sell mm. with politics. You know, with your voter's card. You know, they tell you present your voter's card yes. and they give you some amount of money. Yes. I've actually witnessed it. Yes, you know what, what I believe. I say I, I I was interviewed recently and I said, you know, one of the major thing that. Um, by God's grace, when I succeed in being the president of this country, is to tackle poverty. Poverty is at the root of the major problem that we have in this country. As at the what root, about greed? I will say poverty first. You get okay. my point? I will say poverty. You see, an average Nigerian is so impoverished that the situation has become has become so bad that it could it could do anything just to make. Ends meet. But this so is most of them that are selling their votes are selling it majorly for survival purpose. But survival so if we for really, a day. If we, yeah, survival. And you I know that, that this is a I do not agree that poverty is the, are the root of no, poverty. No, I'm not just saying that I believe that poverty is one of the problems. That's mm -hmm. not the problem. It's a major problem because well, nobody, no, education no, no, is. No, no, not really education. Most of these people are aware that, you know, that they are actually mortgaging their future by you know, taking 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. But in the presidential election, is not going to work. No, but it really, it is. Because what we've, we've seen in the past is the same process, you know. And now that you have aligned with these people, you have an alliance with these people who seem to be very, very wonderful at this buy and sell kind of business. You know, there is a lot of marketing going on. People are pricing, how much are you paying? Because we watched the, the you know, the build-up to the kit elections. Mm -hmm. I kept seeing... And, you know, it was quite funny to me. At first I said, okay, maybe they won't hold up to it. But no, people came on national it TV. Poverty that is our problem. People poverty came on national TV been... to actually said, we did. Poverty we is... did. We poverty gave people money. Poverty has always been around. Poverty has always been around. In the, in, in the year in the year 2000, in fact, precisely on September 8, 2000, inside the hallowed chambers of the United Nations, the global leaders came together. The place was filled up. Obama Sanjay represented Nigeria that year. They came and made a declaration called the Millennium Declaration. Why? Because before you were born to missing, we were told, we were young, that by the year 2050, um, the year 20,000, there will be housing for all, there will be food for all, there will be education for all, there will be housing for all. We got into the year 2000 with all the accumulated crisis. World leaders by themselves recognize that, oh, year 2000 has come, nothing has happened. You know what? Let's have a meeting. They went to the place, declared what is called Millennium Declaration, and came up with eight de uh, development goals. That's why I'm the publisher of MDG Global Magazine. MDG just means Millennium Development, development Goals. Goal. When Nigerians was not aware of what was going on, I started going from TV to TV, talking about these things. In the process, it wasn't effective. I started publishing the magazine and all that and all that. My dear, I came from a very, you won't believe it, terrible background. Poverty. You know what they call poverty? I was born in, when the war ended. We couldn't see food to eat. I had a protruding stomach. It's the United Nations uh, NESCO that used to bring milk for us and that brown rice that we were eating. But we had pride. In Alausa here, I was walking down the street sometime last year and I saw a girl buying oil for 50 naira. Under, and they put the oil inside the bottom. And it was just at the bottom there. Tiny. So I said, no. Take, mama, mama, put oil for the, the whatever lady. How much is half? She ignored me. She told me that that girl will not take that. The mother will not accept. Look, right. it was in our presence here that the comedy industry blossomed. And every time you listen to those comedians, they told stories of how poverty has driven them. Poverty brings pressure. Pressure brings you to a place of creativity. Check all the rich people in the world today. What is Steve are, you now say, from are you now saying we should celebrate poverty? That's not what I'm are saying. I'm saying that he brings you, you, he motivates you, instigates poverty? you to a place where you can become, find a solution to your poverty. That's what I'm saying. I'm, what okay. I'm saying. I am a product of poverty. Poverty brought me to a place where even till tomorrow I'm still creating things that I want to do. Now, I'm not saying that poverty is not real. What I'm just saying is that you need to ask me, the question you need to ask me is that what is poverty? Poverty is defined, I define it, as a situation where you lack absolute materials. Absolute materials that is, that, that is necessary for your daily existence. 
you have a phone and you say you're poor and your phone is sold to you for 52,000 and you claim you're poor you are really you are drinking that's, that's another thing that's another thing that i think is our problem you here. sell your phone i think it's a matter a of priority priority i think it's a matter of priority because i keep wondering sir a couple of weeks ago we were talking about this not young to run bill and we kept we identified that young people really do not lack the 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 the, um, the ideas the ideas the creativity, the creativity mm -hmm. but they seem the to lack they seem to lack mm -hmm. proper orientation mm -hmm. and education mm -hmm. to get things done that was why i started from saying that i think education is our basic problem because let's even let's face the fact mm -hmm. the people whose votes were bought mm -hmm. were mostly young mm -hmm. and mothers you know that there was a time when uh, uh, I think there was, was one of the elections. People went from door to door, from shop to shop, where I was living then, and they were giving money to people to vote. They gave it way before the election, anyway, ten thousand, five thousand. But do you know the truth? Some of the people that I knew that collected the money still did not vote for the person they collected. Yeah, money actually, from. that's because that, they were that, educated. That is, they understood. That is what we are preaching now. That collect the money, but don't vote for anybody that gives you money because no, no, when you vote for that person you know you're actually mortgaging mortgaging your future and the person as a trader a business person is going to is is doing it with the aim of having million folds of returns from you from you so we're automatically so, saying so, so i think our it, sh it should be a collective effort now to educate the people that money politics destroys the nation destroys you as a person destroy your family destroy your future destroy nigeria you know it should be a collective effort in educating our people to turn their back to money politics okay you know that has always been the big and that is the, that's one of the roots that's one of the causes of the poverty we're, we're having in the land okay because at the end of the day the the person that bribed you to vote for him will get there the money yes. that is meant for infrastructure will it's not be used it's going to pocket it so there will be this kind of uh, multiplier cyclical effect in yeah. in poverty so so it's a collective effort yes. okay um, we're going to take a very short break now when we come back i want to look at some of the alliances and what they stand for we'll be right back Welcome back to AM Chat. My name is still Tomisi Ojo, and we're talking about political permutations ahead of the 2019 general elections. And I have two wonderful people in the studio with me this morning. We have Dr. Olushola Christwell, and we have Mr. Chokes Umwoko. Okay, so before we went on that break, we were talking about, we were identifying some of the problems um, of uh, the, the, the electorate. Why does it seem to be, um, why does this alliance seem to be working? Why, why is it that people seem to just keep selling their votes and all that and we identified education we identified them um poverty as the two major reasons why people seem to be doing a lot of these things but right now we're going to go into some of the alliances i want us to look at it critically some of these alliances people are stepping forward people are saying i want to be your presidential candidate people are saying oh we want to join together to 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 upset buari we just want to remove him at all costs and that seems to be what some people are saying but some people are also saying you know what we want to come together we want to we want to be we want to create a new nigeria we want to do certain 
certain things to ensure that we create the kind of future that our children can, the, 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 the coming generations can actually be proud of. You know, Dr. Olushala said before we went on that break, he said that um, the average Nigerian is not happy to be a Nigerian. And that's, uh, that's, um, that's uh, uh, if you're looking at the national pride, you know, you're like, ah, I'm in Nigeria, but you know, I wish things worked better, you know. But I want us to look at some of the alliances, as I said. Tambua, you know, we're looking at still the newspaper is still right in front of me. Saraki, Wike, Tambua, and all of these people coming together saying they're coming to, to do a coalition to unseat Buhari. Uh, and you know, one of the issues that we have with this government that I think people are really clamoring for is the fact that the president is Fulani and the Fulani headsmen seem to be doing a lot of things. But my question to you this morning is what really is the problem with this government? And well, why the, the, quest? The, the, the problem with this government is my right, you know. Um, look at the economic front with the, 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 our, our fortune as a nation has actually gone bad since the government, since this government stepped into power. Well, I don't the, agree. Things were bad before. No, what well, well, things is bad. But, but, but if the U.S. were went into recession and spent about, I think, 2004 to about 2014 to about 2000 and um, I think 12, it took the U.S. about seven years have to come out of US, recession. Have you been to that U.S. recently? And things are really good there. Good. I'm asking you, things are really good. good. Nothing is good anywhere in the world. The world is going through very the global economy is going through difficult times. Look, let's be realistic. The problem with this administration, for me. It's not this economic because there's economic problem everywhere, everywhere. Economic, the security challenges. There's security problem everywhere. There's political problem in the U.S. The only place you do not have problem, politically speaking, is Russia. in China and China. In Russia. And I told you there's something wrong with our democracy because we copy the American democracy. The kind of problems they have is what we have. We Do have no agree? regard for anything. Let me finish. We are chasing money, but there's a solution. And I think that your generation should be interested in the generation. Now, the reason they are constantly pointing finger at this government is very clear to people like me. Look, he carries a political debt. He carries a certain um, a stigma. He carries a certain political body. i give you an instance. Buhari might be a good man. But he's not been able to just oppose, like I said to you, the present reality of the global reality with aspirations of for your children and my children so these children in the next 30 years they will come become your age they will still be co they complain agitations you're doing and they will yeah. start doing it there's a way to do solve the problem you need to create a new nigeria before we even go to create you need to, to create a new nigeria solution. and to create that new nigeria you do not need stone and bricks mentally look we have i just told you that we have approached apc and pdp and we have sold that idea to them but this Istanbul and Saraki and Wiki and even, I want us to even talk about the new Nigeria for concept. But I want us to recognize the problem because he was saying just now that intellectual capacity being able to yes. suppose. Yes, but how is not problem. able to do that? He's not able to do that. You know why? Because he's not been given the space to do that. Let me give you an example. Before he was sworn or shortly after he was sworn Saraki found himself as in a prison. He locked himself inside the car, slept overnight. You know why? Because these politicians, including himself, all they want is the political power. What they do with it? Don't, 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 um, no, including you. No. You said something here at the beginning. You, you, are, you, are, a, you, are a you said you too. said that you just want the political power. So you are not going to be exempted. <laughs> Look, you want to remove the man at all. Eh? I'm, not a, I'm not a politician. I'm, oh, a, really? I'm a leader. Check me out. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm not a politician. I'm not in politics. The reason we're in a political party is because the law says you must aspire for political office through the vehicle of a political party. I am not a politician. Listen to me. Read my articles. Check me out. I am not a politician. I'm a leader. I, lead, I have been leading from the back by my activities, by the things I do. I'm a, I'm a, compa I am Nigeria's compassionate, compassionate entrepreneur. Once okay. I have developed right. 2,000 women, I have done so many things. I'm a publisher of a free magazine that is di distributed freely. Look, no, Buhari, the problem is this. Um, I met this in his government. All these people, they come with certain baggages. So he's, and he's only one championing, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, fight against corruption. How can you be in a government? I have never heard Fashola or Amechi or any of his ministers. 
now he might be succeeding but he won't go far because no member of your team shares the same vision with you so we are coming is that a problem for you no no let him finish i want to get his point so. okay. the, the point that i'm making here is that we need to create a new nigeria mm. and to create a new nigeria you do not need stone or bricks what you need is people who have the intellectual capacity to just oppose it so with think... modern reality and so you think reality. we need to look outside this yes to cause a rebound and a new nigeria we are compelling apc and pdp to make Reverend Kishokoti their can, uh, consensus candidate so, for now, a government you see? for a government of national reconciliation and reconstruction. So anything short of it, you will see what is going to happen. Okay, so <laughs> Dr. Shola, now you are you are... it. is that not good medicine for you? <laughs> is it good medicine for you? It well, is his <laughs> that, that's his own opinion, you know. Okay, I, I, well, I want you to talk about because do you agree with the problems I said? Is is um, you, the, is Buari caged? Because that, that's no, he's not caged. I didn't say he's caged. I said, said that he he's not able to just oppose the reality our aspirations with, with co contemporary realities. realities. Okay, so do you think that's true? Well, I think I agree with him. In you a don't have in, to agree with him. No, I don't have to agree with you. <laughs> but you, 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 you made some sense in some aspects. Absolutely. You know? okay. Yes, Thank you. and, and um, I will agree with him that um, Buhari is, I would say, is, um, is, in my own opinion, is held to ransom in some way. You know, is not able to perform as he should, is not able to um, do most of the things that he probably wished to do because one is in a wrong setting is surrounded by uh, people with views ideals principles totally different from 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 his own and that is the reason why i strongly believe that an average nigerian is fed up with this government you know they might not be fed up with buhari as a person they might not be fed up with some few progressives in apc they might not be they you know there are some people in apc that are wonderful people you know buhari as a person as a as 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 as, as a you know as a man himself has you know some credibility well except that in recent times some of those um, assets that he has in terms mm -hmm. of credibility is being dissipated dissipated because of his stance on some issues no, you know issues. but you think he's not doing enough on the security it's, challenges it's not of doing the country it's not doing so it's not doing it's not doing, 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 all the, it's not the doing enough in a lot of areas in a lot of areas it's not doing enough in a lot of areas you know and um, it is because one is is not using the right strategies is not using the right people mm -hmm. you know okay. it's not it's so not you, you not agree on it's, that it's, part that it's, it's not, not using not, the right people it's not it's not the right people surrounding he, yes yes it's not using the right people it's not using the right strategies it's not surrounded by good enough advisors you know and um, when a leader is not surrounded it doesn't have the right resources to achieve a set goal the leader will definitely fail so in my own opinion um apc has failed nigerians all the expectations that we had before he came before you know every all the expectations have been touched so an average nigerian is fed up with the federal government and um, there is going to be a change you know as the presidential aspirant uh, under sdp i'm very hopeful that i will be the next pre president and most of the things that i'm going to do will be centered at eliminating poverty i have all the strategies to destroy the okay. moment we are able to tackle poverty in nigeria no. we're going to solve the problem of corruption we're going to solve the problem of of insecurity but most of our problems global will be, problem. see what he said about uh, uh what he said earlier that every other country is no, I, mean, I, know I don't I agree with him i'm i'm well traveled i've just re even returned from a particular trip you know and uh, there are many african countries that 
I would not want to mention this program that you could point to their citizens are not as despondent as Nigerians are at this moment. I agree with you. You understand? I agree with you that there if are we lots tackle of poverty using the vehicle of education, using the vehicle of developmental banks, using some basic strategies, using, infra using information technology, I'm telling you, we're going to, we can have a new Nigeria within the next four but years. Is this alliance going to address some of the things you're talking about? You see, the, the alliance is not a political party. Don't forget. Yes, I This do. alliance is not a political well, this, this party. This alliance is looking at it's taking power at the center, and they must be like looking APC to did. addressing some of these issues. So, do they share your opinion on some of these issues? What's the strategy? What's the purpose? Yeah, the, the, the alliance because is still. Because you're saying they, they want to observe but what's, yes, what, they, what's, they, it go, what's it going to mean to the, the alliance is still new. You know, between now and, and the and the election period, we're going to firm up a whole lot of things. And I believe that we will we, we'll develop the right strategy to make sure Nigeria is rebirthed, you know, by the time we're fully, we're, we're, we're fully set. Okay, so we're going to start taking some calls right now. You can uh, put up the lines. Uh, people can start calling in. We want to look at, um, you know, some of the comments from our people. But, but you are, are saying that the alliance is what Don't you Mr. think will address this issue. And, um, Mr. Can I, can I say something? Yes, sir. The solution to this problem, so that you get it right for the benefit of your young children, is what I told you. We need to have a national rebirth in what I call creating a new Nigeria. And you can't physically create another space called Nigeria. So it has to be mentally. That mentally is true education and all that. Poverty should inspire people. And by the way, people, uh, like you said also, and I have already said, Buhari has not been able to operate ultimately because he's held down by the baggages that he's carrying. Yeah. And in, in a political setting, you don't, you can't really do it alone. So he needed to bring this, some of these guys to finance and support him and all that. But well, now I have a question a for you based on that. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let, let me drive this. Vehicle. Okay. Um, what is it called? Let me drive this point home. In the new Nigeria, what Nigerians, young people who are poor are looking for, is not somebody to come and put bread and butter on their table and tea. Somebody to inspire them. There's something I posted on Facebook that I want to share with you. I call it words as weapon. When the British were going to win the Second World War, because they were widespread because of their presence in the colonial empires in Nigeria, in Ghana, all over the world, in Singapore and in Malaysia, they, in, in India. They didn't have a strong army to face the German machine. Do you know how they won the war? They elected a president called Winston Churchill. You just spoke. We need a man who can inspire us to greatness, who can inspire us to work and other big age and uh, infirmity has had, uh, has also contributed in holding Buhari down. But a new Nigeria, in all these people who are always thinking that there's no hope for Nigeria. There's hope. All we need to do is listen to what I'm saying. We have a champion that is thrown his cap in the ring. His name is Reverend Kisokuto. We need to support him. No, but I, I, I'm, we I'm need really to support here. him. No, don't confused. be confused. I'm here to, exp to help you. That's don't be said. confused. You want to use the same vehicle, the, the same vehicle that established a, a, a government that um, struggled and wobbled. A vehicle that is driven by a very mute. You don't understand what I'm saying? By somebody who is mute. Don't please let me it's make neutral. sure that people who are home can hear what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is neutral. If you're driving a car and you're a bad driver, and you have these people behind you, it's okay. Driver, get down before you kill everybody here. So you bring this neutral driver to drive our national vehicle, who will inspire you, who is a shepherd, who will care for you, who knows how to stoop to conquer, who is served God for thirty something years. Come on. His name, there's a Christ something in his name. He knows the essence of Christ, uh, uh, Christ, li Christ no, likeness. No. Look, don't make, don't make a joke of what I'm saying. I'm not this making a joke. Like he said, Nigerians are despondent at this time. They need hope. Seven months or how many months to election is not a time for gang uh, to, for gang. You know, it's easier to, when your enemies uh, want to get you down. It's easier for them to gang together. But you just have one God who stands by you and you are more than a conqueror. Look, let them gang up. Let them form cup. Let them form bread. Whatever they want to form, that has always been the 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 the, the uh, antecedent of annexing political power. This one, they are going. They are being compelled. There, nobody is begging them. Adam Soshomole, comrade Adam Soshomole, and a prince Secundus, which is Secundus. They have heard 
in fact you know the rambociousness and what well, um loquacious tendency of adam social i sit down and i'm thinking how he's going to react to this letter he had no choice the same thing for pdp they will call this guy and say guy we accept you nigerians because he's talking about a, P, a, a apc it's not mentioning the 16 wasted years of of pdp where they gave money to one man to go and make our road many people, i slept on our i was going to ask about one day i slept on the road they have destroyed this com country you're talking about poverty pdp and apc created this poverty because they have always been changing their parties today they are in apdp PDP. tomorrow they are in apc but the people who are going to do this um, campaigning who are going to you know what if these two political parties use this particular candidate you're talking about what why can't you call the name of the particular his name is reverend chris okote i'm just saying that if you choose this candidate if pdp or apc they will choose him if they don't to choose him what will happen to the vehicle that they have already you understand what i'm saying sir there is a vehicle there is a, there is a strategy that they use but they would not agree i told you they never agree among themselves see what ask him they will when the pdp gather they will never agree if APC gather, they will never agree. So the option has already been sold. When you finish quarreling and killing yourself, call on me and make me your consensus. That's the idea. Okay. They so will never. They have never agreed before. They will never agree tomorrow. They are not going to agree next year. But so that, when they have finished disagreeing and parties. killing each other, eh? that's why there are two political parties working. No, even within know? the political parties, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. PDP will soon start their crisis. You see all this ganging up and picture you see here. It's a recipe for crisis. They will never agree. They don't have that spirit of agreement. So this neutral guy who is watching on the sideline, they will beckon on him but as well. wants to use these same people who do not agree and uh, their vehicle uh, to push. They are not going to be vehicle. They are just members. But that's what I'm saying. That's it's what going I'm to be. Replying. It's going to be their process. They, 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 they are Absolutely. They will just subject themselves. But they, but they are not going to. Do you think they're going to? If they're they don't, going to push if they don't, agenda. If Thank you for saying they're going God to push bless. the agenda. Okay. If their 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 misfortune and in fact I also know that they might not agree, you will hear what is going on. Uh, do you think your people will agree? No, because they're gonna push the agenda because even you are talking about let coming him reply together you now. to still look at some <laughs> ask him because let him reply. Who, who, who are those that you call my people? Is it no, I'm cop? talking about the new yes, I'm talking about this cop now. Yes. I'm talking about cop. Yes. If we're talking about a -E -C, no it doesn't belong to pdp actually it belongs oh, to sdp okay. but it belongs to the alliance the new alliance but he's a man of god he should ally himself so he's aspect. a man of god oh and he's a presidential aspirant but he's part of court his presidential aspiration is not as strong you heard him saying that his uh, personal opinion is uh, can be subdued. I heard that's what he said. Yeah. No, I said on this on this on, on this on particular on this, program. On this program. Yes, on my program. Yes, but he's on, a good on, man. Uh, he's a good yes. man. I've persuaded him already. He will align with his brethren. Are you? <laughs> yeah. If you ask my opinion about um, Pastor Chris Okote, Reverend Chris Okote, Re sorry, Reverend Chris Okote, I will say that um, as a man of God, he should the political leaders should come to men of god for blessings for directions That's so what you think. So, yes yeah, so so so, not, so uh, shiba is your, uh, your vice uh, president uh, 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 she, uh, she, uh, shiba Sokote brought <laughs> made it possible for him to become whatever he, he, i remember when he went to to pa our it's daddy, like uh, the boy it's like it's like living a higher position no it is not for, it, for the, the lower and the church is subject to the, <laughs> to the governmental authority if you don't know so for 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 pastor chris okote uh -huh. in my own opinion is living a higher realm to a lower one that's, that's because it should be that's not even to, to that's not even my but that is not the issue at the yeah, that's exactly. not my concern. i'm just saying that mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking about this alliance it vis-a-vis -vis, uh, well, he, he, he eventually invaded, invaded the apc PDP, the Alliance, Corp, CPPP, and all that. Now, people coming together, do you think that their agenda will be shelved for a new candidate? Well, um, there are always there will always have to be agreements and disagreements. There will always have to be bargaining. But you see, um, group. Okay, let me take the number. We have a caller okay. on the line. We have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, sir. This is AM Chat. Hello. Hello, good morning. This is AM Chat. We can hear you. You can talk to me. I can hear you. Okay, the number to call is 70 
The number to call is 070-6250-247. We have a call on the line. Good morning. This is AM Charts. Good morning. I'm with you, sir. What well, your name, please? Your name? Hello. Hello, good morning. I can hear you. Morning, yes, sir. Please tell me your name, sir. Yeah, my name is uh, Johnson Okay, Mr. Johnson, how can uh, what's your comment this morning? Do you have a question? Yes, my question is uh, all these people are uh, talking about the uh, uh, deporting the body as well. I'm sorry for Nigeria. All of them are fools. They are set up. That is the former government. They are passing so many parties. They don't get uh, any, any good people that they are. Okay, so I can hear you. I can hear you. Thank you so much for your comments. Okay, the number to call. The number to call is zero seven zero six two five zero zero two four seven. And before that caller came online, we were talking to uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Olushola Christworth, and I was asking you, okay, we have another caller on the line, okay, we were asking you if this alliance vis-a-vis... -vis you see, APC... Reverend, okay. Sorry, we have a caller. Good morning. Good morning. This is AM Chat. Good morning, sir. Please, your name? Your name, sir? Yeah. I want to make a contribution. Yes, I'm listening. Your name. Your name, sir. Your name and your contribution, please. Uh, of the line. Okay, Mr. Jakaye, what can we do for you this morning? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. The of this country is not for corruption. Corruption. Okay. Yeah, the problem is, the problem is corruption and lack of visionary leaders. Mm. Yeah, we lack visionary leaders. Okay, so you think leadership and corruption is our major problem, Mr. Jakaye? If we are able to kill corruption, this country will move ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Jakaye. Thank you. 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 Corruption and lack of visionary leadership is a major problem. But at the root cause of corruption is poverty. No, if we that, have if we if, if if we have if we have visionary leaders, leaders that can um, position this country economically, leaders that can position um, that can empower the people. You see, I have a strategy of ensuring that every Nigerian has the right education and it, the pri and that the private sector should be highly empowered you know to you see the private all the areas that we have witnessed development in this country in the last few years are, were driven by the private sector so if the private sector could be empowered and poverty and unemployment is tackled I tell you Corruption will be drastically reduced. But it's the Insecurity people at the top will who have so much that are taking more. It's a, I have, yeah, I it, have it, a lot, and I'm still taking a lot. It is, it is because, like he said, like Ajakai said before, we like visionary leadership. Hello, good morning. Sorry, sir. Hello, good morning. Welcome to AM Chat. Your name and your contribution, please. Okay, your contribution, sir. Okay. So you believe that corruption is the problem of this country? Okay. Moving on right now, um, Dr. Chris, what you, Chris, what you were saying something? Yes, I'm saying that you see, uh, at the root of corruption is the disempowerment of the people when the people are disempowered i was given an analogy in, a, in an interview that i was granted recently um you find a, a, a man possibly in pastor chris Sokote's church is what and the, the the church tries its best to the church tries its best but the church cannot help everybody the mosque cannot help everybody you know you have to 
be able to help yourself first. You know, you find you, 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 a situation where his wife is in the hospital. He loves God. He has conscience. But his wife is in, in the hospital. And um, he needs just 10,000 Naira to solve the problem of that wife. He has run out to Skelter. There was no, no place to get the 10,000 Naira. And um, a corrupt politician offers to give him 10,000 Naira on the condition that he will vote for him. I tell you, it will take the grace of God for that person to resist that temptation of collecting the ten thousand naira. But problems are. You problems see, but are. if the government, if we have, if we, if, we, if we've had, over the years, good visionary government, or if God in His mercies should help us at this moment to get it right and have the right government at the central, you know, when it comes from the central, it can, it will water down to the lower level, and most of these problems that have led to that to unemployment to frustration among the youth among you know among the general popul populace all the infrastructural deficits contributing to our poverty if they are addressed i tell you if my basic need is met your basic need is met there will be less inducement i mean sorry there will be uh, one will be less susceptible to the inducement to to fall prey to some of this. So if we are able to tackle poverty, for me, my government, the primary focus of my government is to abolish poverty, not even to reduce, to abolish poverty and, from and the road. Um, you know, the moment we are able to abolish poverty in Nigeria through some strategic, not expensive method, just some simple strategies that God has given me, we are going to solve the problem of corruption and security almost permanently. Okay, so um, we'll be because if the to general, if the, if, if, if the generality oh, of the people, okay, okay, thank you. Hello, good morning. This is AM Chat. I am Tommy C. Yeah, this is Jeff calling for Mikorozu. Okay, good morning, Mr. J. This is Jeff calling for Mikorozu. Okay, Mr. Jim. Thank you for joining us on AM Chat this morning. Your contribution, please. Yes, sir. Yes. This man sitting on your studio right now. Yes, sir. I've known it like this. This man has a school. Maybe go to. Okay. Maybe this will call Lady Gold. Is that true? Okay. I will say this man is willing to be swapped out. Salary. From what I'm getting. More. Okay. So I need my right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. What okay. He, um, what he said is actually true. <laughs> okay. You see? And that is what I'm no that is what I've been emphasizing on. That the major problem of this country is poverty. I set up a school as a social entrepreneur. I have over over sixty schools affordable schools. Some of my schools are paying as low as 6,000 naira per term. Can you imagine? All because I believe in the instrumentality of education to eliminate poverty. Even this 6,000 naira, parents find difficult to pay. Some of my annexes are paying 6,000, some 8,000, some 10,000. I have to get money from various sources, including borrowing from bank to be able to sustain the schools. Some people think I'm crazy. Why should you set up schools? You know, why can't you just set up one and make mega box? I tell them my goal, my primary goal is to empower Nigerians. I schooled in the United Kingdom. I have all the, I have all the privileges in this world to be comfortable to ensure the comfortability of all my immediate environment but i believe the only way i could positively impact the society is to give education to in those areas where the government have not, are not serving and i've done that for almost 20 years Restrategize. almost 20 so years you can get more money almost 20 years without uh -huh. without government support Without NGO, oh. without any support, I've been bearing all the burden alone. You understand? I think we should to use education, excuse me, to use education, to use education to emancipate the people. But even the peanuts, 
that I subsidize, the parents are not able to pay. Mm. In, and, in, in and, that and, case, escalation of your strategy has to change. No. Because if you they keep paying peanuts, you are going to produce monkeys. It no, depends. my students have got first say, go and check the history. No, I'm, no, I, 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 say, the details are going say, What I'm just saying. Excuse is, me, before you, you don't delve into what you are not, you are ignorant I, I, about. I, I am not. I have, I have, I have produced some of the best brains in oh, this country. Fine, but, but if some I, of the best brains. My children also finished from my school. And my daughter graduated from Babcock, Babcock University. Uh, a few points to first class. And she would have had the first at before the age of 17. I mean, she was 17 when she graduated from Babcock University. And we've mm -hmm. produced so many first class students from Livingstone College. Okay, so... You know? Um, and the, all the because I believe, all because, all be, all, yeah, I've addressed the issue. It oh, is still goodness. the poverty in the society. That's People like me that are that. doing our, I, with, I our not, own, with our own personal, with our own personal, with our own personal, with our own personal resources. There's poverty in Colombia. There's poverty in South Africa. Excuse me. Poverty all over. There's poverty in the richest country in the world. In America, there's poverty. People are not able to go to school. Poverty has always been. So should we then continue to promote poverty? You are, we are not we, promoting. We it, can't promote stop poverty. It look like that's, I'm, that's I'm, I'm using. using I'm, as a person, I'm, I'm using education. I'm poverty. using education to liberate Nigerians. The, the, and and when I become the president okay, of this country, education will be my primary focus in bringing in exactly, in, but in but reducing. Poverty. Using, I will use education as a primary vehicle in reducing poverty in this country. Okay, thank you very much. It's been an interesting conversation this morning, and I'm sure that our listeners, our viewers at home, um, you you learned a lot, you saw a lot, and I'm sure that you have a lot of comments. So my social media must be buzzing right now. You can just at me on Twitter, T O M Y S Y N E. That's Tommy C at on Twitter, and then Tommy C on Facebook, T O M Y S Y N E. On Facebook, you'd see my. Face, Tommy C. Ojo. And then you can go to Instagram as well and check for Chef Tommy C. T O M Y S Y N E. Okay, so it's been an interesting conversation this morning. We were talking about political permutations ahead of the 2019 elections. And we're talking to Dr. Olushola Christwell and we're talking to Mr. Chooks Woko. They both believe that we need a new Nigeria. They both believe that we need visionary leaders. They both believe that we need to work to educate the electorate. Okay, so we're going to have another interesting show next week. And I'm sure you would want to see Dr. Olushala come back to really talk about his, um, his presidential campaign and all that and all that. And you also want to see uh, Reverend Chris Okotie and um, Mr. Chooks in Okotie the studio talking about their campaign. So we're going to give you time. Mm -hmm. You will come. You will talk about your campaign, Thank what you. you're doing, your strategy mm -hmm. and all that. And we're really going to be looking forward to that. Okay, my name is Tom Missy and thank you for joining me on AM Chat this morning. Next week is another time. I look forward to seeing you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Compactors, Nigeria call obey to serve our fatherland with love, strength, and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation bound in freedom, peace, and unity. Arise, Nigerian, arise, arise, Nigerian, arise, arise, Nigerian, arise, arise, Nigerian, rise. One nation, same people. Let's unite and 
exaltation, transgression, bring a nation down. Righteousness, exaltation, transgression, bring a nation down. Before we were great and so mighty, our sins brought us to. Now are we lost, wandering in the desert? No food to eat, no water to drink. How long will be conditioned before we reach the promised land? Arise, Nigerian, arise.
Nigerian arise, arise Nigerian arise, arise Nigerian arise, arise Nigerian rise. One nation, same people, one country, Nigeria. Let's unite and work hard to make Nigeria great. One nation, same people, one country, Nigeria. Let's unite and work hard to make Nigeria great. Good news for you. Everybody should hear. You can come from the north. You can come from the south. You can be a Christian. You can be a Muslim. Any state of origin. Anywhere you worship. No matter your language. Tradition and custom. One nation, same people, one country. Let's unite and work hard to make Nigeria great. One nation, same people, one country, Nigeria. Let's unite and work hard to make Nigeria great. Edo, Urobo, Ibibio, Epi, Dukun, Fulani, Isekiri, Isoko, Lupe, Ibira, Ijo, Isha, Iro. We are one people, one country, Nigeria. Let's unite and work hard to make Nigeria great. One nation, same people, one country, Nigeria. Let's ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Ruth Simi Akechunde. Human Rights Watch HRW has faulted a Moroccan court on Wednesday for sentencing a prominent journalist to three years in prison on what it called a dubious charge connected to the northern protest movement. Hamid El Madawi was sentenced last month for not denouncing an attempt to harm state security after receiving a call from a man who said he planned to create armed strife in the country. Human Rights Watch said the court had rejected Madawi's defense that he felt the man's claims were idle chatter. Madawi is well known for criticizing the Moroccan government on social media. He's already serving a one-year sentence for inciting protests. An opposition leader in Equatorial Guinea has called on government to resign for failing in its promise to release political prisoners. The general secretary of the second largest opposition party, Andres Esonondo, said the government must resign because it is unable to implement and respect the law. Obiang had issued a decree granting what he described as a total amnesty early this month in a bid to smoothen the way for a national dialogue between political leaders in the country. As Sonorondo said on the second day of the talks, which opened in the absence of key opposition figures, none of the prisoners had been released. We will be back after this break.
Police authorities in Uganda have released the first annual crime report in three years, which shows almost three and a half percent increase in the crime rate across the country. The report says reported cases increased by 1,000 to more than 25,000 cases last year. Violent crimes such as homicides, domestic and gender-based violence also increased in that period. The report comes in the midst of a wave of kidnappings and killings for ransom, causing national concern. More than 200 kidnappings were recorded by the police last year. That is ANN News Brief. For details of these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. You can also join the conversation on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at ANN Africa TV. I am Rotimi Akin today. Good morning.